Sajad Hadar Karim from the Conservative Party. Brian Simpson from the Labour Party. Jacqueline Foster from the Conservative Party. Nicholas John Griffin from the British National Party. Ladies and gentlemen, it falls to me as having the privilege of being elected as number one to offer a vote of thanks to the returning officer both here and uh, throughout the region for the work that they've done. The story in the Northwest then, the story in the Northwest, Labour have lost one seat to the BNP and Nick Griffin, the leader of the BNP, takes a seat in the Northwest and the share of the vote, again, pretty damaging. This is. Labour heartland territory, the Conservatives up two, Labour down seven percentage points, UKIP up four, the Liberal Democrats down two percentage points, the BNP up two, and the Green Party on eight percentage points, up two percentage points, and others on eight down one. So, that's the last of the results we'll have in tonight, and it's the second BNP victory, two MEPs go to Brussels from the BNP and Labour again having a devastatingly bad result in the Northwest. It means that the BNP now have a European platform, they have a national platform. What people often forget is that it gives them real money. Not only money that is given to the MEP, but research. That means they can take on members of their party to take research jobs, to do other propaganda jobs at the public expense. So it is a huge gain in propaganda terms, not just symbolically, but in terms of their organisation for the British National Party. It means that Nick Griffin, as their leader, has that platform. And you just look at the number of votes that are lost by the Labour Party. Now there's a bit of a change because it was an all postal ballot area, so all parties have dropped off. But Labour lost 240,000 votes between the two elections, uh, going down to only 336,000. That is an extraordinary drop in their vote and will produce a real fury. This is how close it was, David. If UKIP had got 1,200 more votes, I'm told, they would have had a second seat there. Nick Griffin would not have been elected. If the Greens had got 5,000 more, they would have beaten the BNP. And remember, for people who think there's a tide in favour of the BNP, they actually got fewer votes this time than they did last time. They are in. Nick Griffin is there because of the failure of other parties, not because he has succeeded in convincing a lot of new people to vote BNP. Right. Emily. A very simple question to the panel. Uh, Danny, what does this say to you? Well, it's a doleful thing to be able to say to my children, I was up for Nick Griffin. Uh, it was very, it's a very bad moment because he's a very bad person. And I think that he will now, as Nick said, have this organisational power in the EU. He has brought to the fascists in Britain something that previous generations couldn't bring. They were always rowing over who would be Fuhrer, and he's succeeded uh, in himself uh, being undivided leader and having enough charisma to bring the people behind him. I very much worry about how he'll now be able to use the MEP position. It's much worse than the other seat. Polly, he has legitimacy now. This, this is, be careful what you wish for, this is democracy. This is shameful and disgraceful and a, a terrible embarrassment to us that we have sent, uh, you know, to members of a fascist party to represent us in Europe and this is the time when David Cameron must think again about breaking away from the mainstream conservative alliance in Europe and joining a whole group of other fascists too. It would be the last straw for Britain's reputation in Europe and really he, he, it should give him a wake-up call not to join people who are gay bashers, gypsy haters and climate change deniers. Hang on, isn't Another the wake-up call freaks. really to, to Labour at this well, point? Well of course it is. It's also a wake-up call to the voters who were warned that if they didn't go out and vote for any other party 
the BNP would not would not have had these victories if people had just turned up to vote Steve Richard, as citizens should. The, the BNP campaigned on very local issues, whether it's sort of bin collection or safety of roads in some parts. I, I mean, they, they worked the whole expenses scandal very much to their favour, and, and and that was yeah, the fault they, of the and, other parties. They right? clearly, yeah, of course, yeah, they targeted areas where. Uh, Labour was weak and um, where people weren't going to vote and they got in, as uh, Nick Robinson was saying earlier, they didn't actually increase their vote but the other party's vote declined to such an extent that they're through and it looks terrible that these people are going uh, representing us and having a, a, a platform. I mean there's no upside to it but I think to blame the voting system isn't the way through either. I mean these people uh, got in because people didn't either bother to vote or because Labour's vote collapsed and that needs to be addressed rather than do, saying Do you think the people the voting, the voting for the BNP party. knew they were voting for a racist party? Yes I do. I, I mean I think anyone who's been a candidate as I have in Harrow uh, where there's a large Asian population and has knocked on enough doors and knocked on the doors of someone who says to me I'm not racist I just hate black people knows that there are a lot of people in this country who are racist uh, and I you know I think that uh, any journalist who's Jewish like I am has written about these things will find they get enough racist correspondence not to have any doubt about it. So 6% is not such a you know is not such a bad representation of that kind of feeling I'm afraid. Uh, it's a pretty uh, sober somber note to end on David but back to you. Well, uh, we'll just sum up now where things stand. We've had our 10 declarations of the night, the 10 regions of the United Kingdom and this is what we've got so far. Remember, Scotland and Northern Ireland come in. Conservatives on 24, up one. UKIP, up one. Labour, down five MEPs. The Liberal Democrats, up one. And two gains by the BNP. And the share of the vote.